Welcome back to the channel everyone, it's the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now everyone wants to know, did Not Strong Enough end Alpha Destiny's career? Because that exposure video, it was something, something sinister about it. Not in a bad way against Strong, but something sinister on the part of Alpha Destiny. See, let's, let's touch on the fact, I want to I rehash on this, the fact that all those years ago, Supposedly, he showed the picture of himself at 160 lean. Now, he claims his programs are there. They're the best programs on the market. They're going to, you know, they're for naturals. They're going to get you those muscle gains. Now, recently, he's been showing, hey, I'm 160 lean. But he also claims that he's grown a few inches. Now, you know, we're not going to talk about the fact that he's possibly lying about how tall he is now. I mean, who would do that? You know, <laughs> Alpha Destiny, maybe, allegedly. But let's talk about the fact that the dude exposed him and his programming, meaning that if in two to three years you didn't gain any muscle mass, but you have the best program on the market. I mean, this guy markets his programs, this linear progression, this um, conjugate, all these fucking terms that they use when in reality, you know, it doesn't it doesn't work like he's claiming it works because he didn't do it on himself. You know, we all know over the, you know, throughout, um, you know, all of like the middle of last year up until now, he's been called out by Jason Blaha, you know, for not being able to, um, what, for stiff leg deadlift, is that correct? His deadlift was really, really weak compared to where he's claiming his strength is, but he's able to do those, um, the Jefferson pull. I think that's when you have the bar between your legs and you're pulling it up to your ball sack. I think that's the one. And then the uh, thousand pound rack pulls. You know, a lot of people are still saying he might have had some fake weights on that. I don't know. But uh, uh, that's up to you guys. But the thing is, you know, his strength hasn't gone up. Not in the amount of time, you know, that he's been claiming. You know, like I said, that the stuff that this guy was pulling up was stuff that pretty much was supposed to be gone from the internet. I don't know how he found this stuff. You know, he had the video of him saying, uh, you know, he's 160 lean, right? And then not even a year before that, he looked like he looked like baby Groot. He was a twig. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was tiny. And then in a year, he put on all this muscle and claims it's this amazing ass program. And let's let's face it, people, we're not stupid. We all know the truth. The truth is there are cur extracurricular activities going on in the fitness industry. And it has been and it always will be because there's always people out there who's going to fall victim. Hey, like, listen. The, the video I just posted, some guy came on there and said, you know, he didn't, he, didn't, he never claimed Natty. Are you kidding me? He claims natural all the time. What are you talking about? You know, it's, it's, it's to the point where even your fanboys are so delusional, they'll lie for you. He said he, he never claimed Natty. He claims Natty. He never, I've never heard him say he took shit. I, I heard him say he's a natural athlete. You know what I'm saying? I, I could have sworn maybe he might have even said taking steroids is not even alpha. He might have said that allegedly. Who knows? You know, the way he promotes this whole alpha thing. But, you know, lying to people isn't alpha. Let's get on the uh, the honest, the um, the morality part here. Lying to people isn't honest. A lying to people isn't, isn't alpha. It's, it's immoral. How, how's it alpha to be a liar? A real man will stand on his word. See, a real alpha would have to lie. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't have to lie. You wouldn't need to take steroids to put on this muscle. See, you'd be born out of your out of your father's balls with enough testosterone to get you where you need to go. Hence myself. Never touched the needle, never will. But some people, you know, you're just not genetically blessed like one of Damien McLeod. You know, there's a lot of guys out there. Like I said, there's another guy, you know, he does a lot of heavy lifting or rock music in his garage. I'm not going to throw his name in this video. But a lot of people are trying to say he's natty. I mean, he's doing ridiculous lifts. See, the lies come back to get you, people. You gotta understand something. You tell one lie, now you have to tell another lie to cover the other lie, and then another lie to cover those lies, and then you're continuously lying to the point where it's just, you get exposed one day. That's what happens. You know? <laughs> this is hilarious. This is hilarious. But the question is, did Strong Enough end Alpha Destiny's career? In a perfect world, it would be ended. Because, you know, people will see fraudulence and they will say, you know what, I don't want any parts of that shit. But then in the world we live in, you know, people are dumb. 
not all of you out there. I'm not saying every single one of you people, people that's listening to this is dumb right now. But listen, people are dumb. And they fall for anything. You can say anything to a person and they'll believe it. Why? I, don't, I, have, I still have to figure that out. I just, I chalk it down to naivete, if you want to call it that. People are naive. They want to believe anything. I never believed for one second that this dude is natural or these programs he claims work because I've done it myself. See, the best teacher is experience. When you have experience, when you've done the things that I've done, when you've been the man that I've been, climbed the mountains that I've climbed, you know that. It takes time, patience, and consistency, and a solid work ethic, which are all pretty much one and the same, to get these muscle gains naturally. And they will come. But see, the problem with some of these new, these new young rookies in the game, you know, they, they want it right now. So what do you do? They want to be famous now. It's not about helping you, the people out, you, you, listening right now. It's not about helping you out at all. They'll make these videos to help you out. They can give a damn. As long as you pay that money to buy that program, hey, now they can go out there and buy their nice, fa their favorite flashy fucking car. That's what it's about. That's what it boils down to, people. Can't you... Are you illiterate? Can you read between the lines? Like 50 said? Huh? Huh? Wake up! It's a game, people. Now, there, there's, some, there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Alright? And I'm standing there flexing, showing you, hey, you can put on some muscle, you can get some biceps, you can get your chest up, your quads. Naturally. It just takes a little more time. Alright? You have to put in the time. You can't go in for a week and then think you're going to be Hercules. No. But if you go in week after week after week, stay consistent, you eat. Well, guess what? Something miraculous happens. You start to gain muscle. But see, this kid here, he exposed him. He exposed him thoroughly and completely. Man. Shout out to this guy, not strong enough. He exposed the shit out of Alpha Destiny. Now, this being a career ender, no. People are still going to fall for the shenanigans. Like I said, there was a fanboy who showed up and said, He never claimed natty. <laughs> shut up. All right, shut up. Shut your ass up. I ain't trying to hear none of that. All right? He's been exposed. The fitness game, and it's a lot of people out there, man, doing a lot of fraudulent shit. And it's just, it just comes to show that, you know, it's like a revolving cycle. There's new kids coming up in the fitness industry every day. When I, when I first, listen, quick story. When I first started working out, I had no idea what I was doing. All I knew was that, hey, I want to be buff. I know you got to lift weights. You got to eat. All right, it's common sense. I didn't know. I didn't. I never used the word um, linear progressive training. You know, um, all these fucking terms. They come up, conj conjugal visit split. I don't know what the fuck you call it. All these terms that these people use. I never walked into the gym once saying this workout here is going to be a linear progressive workout. No, I just went in and lift some fucking weights. And I looked around and said, okay, everyone's lifting weights. All right, you get a good idea of what to do. Well, some nowadays you can't really use that because you see some people trying to curl the 50 pound dumbbells and they weigh a buck 25. So, you know, I, I people, people, listen. <laughs> the game is cold. I'll say it. The game is cold. Now, as for his career, this is what this video is about. I think he's going to continue to keep pumping out these ridiculous videos. He's going to say a few slanderous things, maybe against Not Strong Enough. They're going to go back and forth. I'm going to jump in and put my opinion in. I hope this thing keeps going. It's good YouTube drama. Like, I'll be real with you. These type of videos build your subscriber base. I'm not going to sit here and fluff you guys. That's what it's for. I'm making this video to pick up some subs. So go ahead and sub the fucking video. You know what I'm saying? That's what this shit's about right now. But I'm always going to give you guys those real deal tips. The honest truth. The shit that works. The shit that I've done. I'm never going to tell you to do some weird shit that I've never done. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm going to touch on the drama. Because unfortunately, and able to get noticed in this fitness industry, you have to be one of the fake natty guys. And you got to, you know, have super ripped aesthetics. Down to like 8% body fat due to drug usage. And then come on and say you're natural. And then next thing you know, you're getting gyno, but you're bench pressing 390 when you use the bench press like 250, barely. David Laid. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah. The game is cold, people. That's all I want to say. Leave your opinions down below. I want to know what you, what do you people think about his career? Is, is this a career ender or not? It really lies in the hands of the people because no one can be 
what they are in this fitness industry without the people believing in them and buying their shit. It's called supporting a lie. Support someone natural. Support me. <laughs> Sound like a politician, don't I? Support someone natural. Support me. Alright? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was nice and quick and to the point. Just want to throw this out there. This video was, is out there to, you know, throw your opinions in the chat. Now, the haters, come along. You know, talk your shit. Post your little comments. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys are still mad. A lot of you, you, you haters are pissed off at me. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand that. I understand that, you know, one day you walked out of your room from playing your Xbox all day and you walked past your mom's room and then, you know, you saw me there and we, you know, I was walking out of her room, you know, in my drawers and we had that awkward moment where we passed, we crossed paths and you looked me in the eye and it was a lot of hate in your eye, but it was nothing you can do about it. It, it fosters, you know, if it builds up inside, it, 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 it feeds on your insecurities. I understand why you're mad at me. I, I understand it. <laughs> I'm a cold motherfucker. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now. Enough joking around, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I am subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym, do work, and muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes, my lyrics.